बात आज की पाठ तेरा टेकन फ्रॉम गरिमा टेक्स्ट बुक क्लास फाइव यस चिल्ड्रन दिस इज अ लेसन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टुडे बात आज की मींस टुडेस टॉक आप जानते ही हैं डायरी गद्य लेखन की एक विधा है यू नो देर इज अ स्टाइल और वे ऑफ राइटिंग डायरी गद्य लेखन मींस it's like a prose that you write it right in paragraphs vidha means style or way diary wahi likh sakta hai jo apne bare mein kuch bhi na chhipata ho only such a person can write a diary who does not hide anything about himself or herself na chhipata ho means does not hide jo apne dosh bhi सबके सामने स्वीकारने में हिचकता ना हो ओनली दैट पर्सन कैन राइट अ डायरी हु डज नॉट यू नो हेजिटेट टू एक्सेप्ट हिज मिस्टेक्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीबडी दोष मीन्स मिस्टेक्स स्वीकारने मीन्स मिस्टेक्स और यू कैन सी इवन द बैड क्वालिटीज इन वन स्वीकारने में हिचकता ना हो मीन्स ही डज नॉट हेजिटेट इन एक्सेप्टिंग डायरी में अपने गुण ही नहीं अवगुण भी लिखे जाए तभी उसका लिखना सार्थक होता है इन द डायरी वी शुड नॉट ओनली राइट अबाउट अ मेरिट्स और क्वालिटीज इवन आर डी मेरिट्स शुड बी रिटर्न इन अ डायरी ओनली देन राइटिंग अ डायरी बिकम्स मीनिंगफुल हियर गुण मीन्स क्वालिटीज गुड क्वालिटीज और मेरिट्स अवगुण मीन्स डी मेरिट्स बैड क्वालिटीज सार्थक होता है मीन्स बिकम्स मीनिंगफुल पाठ प्रवेश एंट्रिंग द लेसन यह पाठ एक नन ही कलम की दो दिन की डायरी के पन्नों से बनाया गया है दिस लेसन हैज बीन मेड फ्रॉम अ डायरी ऑफ टू डेज रिटर्न बाय अ नन ही कलम इज अ स्मॉल पर्सन यंग लिटिल पर्सन नन ही कलम हियर रेफर्स टू टाइनी कलम मीन्स पेंसिल और पेन विच इन डायरेक्टली रेफर्स टू अ स्मॉल बॉय और गर्ल पन्नों से मीन्स पेजेस फ्रॉम द पेजेस हमारे जीवन के किसी भी एक दिन में क्या क्या घटनाएं घटी यह सोचने बैठे हो तो एकाध घटना ही याद आती है वह भी आधी अधूरी इफ वॉट हैपन इन योर लाइफ यू सिट डाउन टू थिंक अबाउट इट एंड यू थिंक अबाउट वॉट ऑल इंसिडेंट हैपन इन द होल डे इफ यू सिट टू थिंक अबाउट इट वी रियली कांट you know recollect all the incidents one or the other incident only comes to our minds and that too half or in incomplete ghatnaye means incidents ekad means one or two abah bhi aadhi adhuri means aadhi means half and adhuri means incomplete isn't it children if while reading this lesson when we have spoken about the diary if you sit and think you really Uh, think you can uh, recall all that happened yesterday or day before yesterday i don't think so nobody can really remember all that jab pratidin ki ghatnaon ko usi din likhne baitho to yah dekh kar hairani hoti hai ki ek hi din mein kitni ghatnaein ghatti rehti hain when every day you sit down and write down the incidents that happened you'll see and you'll find it really surprising to know that in one particular day how many incidents take place in our lives ghatti rehti hai means they keep on occurring or take place shanivar 17th august 2002 shanivar means saturday uh, children i suppose you know the days of the week right it is shanivar saturday itwar somvar mangalwar बुधवार गुरुवार शुक्रवार एंड शनिवार दिस इज हाउ द हिंदी डेज ऑफ द वीक गोज शनिवार को पापा से मुलाकात हुई नो दिस लिटिल बॉय ही इज राइटिंग अ डायरी एंड इन दैट डायरी ही इज राइटिंग वॉट हैपन ऑन सेवनटीन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड टू सो ऑन सैटरडे ही मेट हिज फादर पापा से मुलाकात हुई मीन्स ही मेट मम्मी पापा से मेरा मिलना शनिवार और इतवार को ही हो पाता है जब मैं यमुना विहार से उनके पास पहुंचता हूँ 
I meet my parents, that is my mother and father, only on Saturday and Sunday. When I reach home uh, from Yamuna Vihar. So this little boy, he was staying in a place called Yamuna Vihar with somebody else. And on Saturdays and Sundays, he used to come to meet his parents. Yamuna Vihar mein main apni mausi ke paas rehta hu. In Yamuna Vihar, I stay with my aunt. Mausi means mother's sister. Mausi mujhe bada admi banana chahati hai. And his mother's sister, that is his aunt, wants to make him a big man. Bada means big, admi means man. Jab Mausi ne bada admi shabd ka prayog pehli baat kiya tha, to mein samjha tha, कि वे मेरी लंबाई बढ़ाने की बात कर रही हैं। When my aunt spoke about my becoming a big man, I thought, and that too for the first time, I thought that she is talking about increasing my height. Here children, प्रयोग means usage and मेरी लंबाई means my height. उस समय मेरे छोटे कद के बारे में बातें होती रहती थी। Now this little boy, he was very short in his height and Always people used to talk about it. So when his auntie told him that I want to make you a big man, he thought she is talking about his height. Ye kad means height. Ek bar mujhe bada admi banani ki baat karte huye, Mausi ne ek muhavre ka prayog kiya tha. One day, his aunt had used an idiom to uh, let him know what does it mean by Becoming a big man or bada admi. Apne paon par khada hona. This is a muhavra children. It's an idiom which means to become self-dependent. Not to depend on anyone else. So apne paon par khada hona is a muhavra children. In whichever lesson or whichever lines I put such a red circle that means that's a muhavra. It becomes easy for you to identify it. And it means to become self-dependent. तब मैंने एंड अपने पाओं को ध्यान से देखा था और उन पर खड़े होकर भी। At that time I looked at my feet or my legs with great attention and then I stood on them and I looked at them again. So here it shows how innocent the little boy is. He just took the literal meaning of the word bada admi, whereas his aunt wanted to make him a great person. पापा ने पढ़ाई लिखाई के बारे में पूछा। So when he met his father on 17th August 2002, his father asked him about his studies. पढ़ाई लिखाई means studies। पूछा कि टेस्टों में कैसे नंबर आए? And father asked him how may how were his how was his performance in his tests? रविवार। Now children, रविवार means Sunday, 18th August 2002, 18 August 2002. सुबह सोकर उठा तो सबसे पहले मैंने टीवी खोला। In the morning when I woke up, the first thing I did was switch on the TV. फिर दो तीन मिनट बाद पापा को जगाकर बताया, पापा सचमच हो गया कमाल, इंडिया जीत गई। After two to three minutes, I woke up my father and I told him, पापा really miracle has happened, इंडिया has won the match. Jagakar means after waking up. Ho gaya kamal means a miracle has happened. England mein ek divasiya cricket ka final match tha. It was one day cricket final match in England. Ek divasiya means one day. Final ma match means match. Raat ko kari baro baje jab batti gul ho jane par hum sone ko the. Tab tak एक सौ छियालीस, that is one forty six के स्कोर तक सचिन सहित भारत के here now the little boy he is talking about the match he is telling till night till twelve o'clock they all watch the match and at twelve o'clock actually the current just went off but the गुल हो जाने पर at that time when the current went off as all of you know, children in India, mostly it happens, right? Once in a while, the current keeps getting cut. At that time, they switched off the TV and they went to sleep. At that time, the score was 146. 
के स्कोर तक सचिन सहित अलोंग विद सचिन तेंदुलकर भारत के सभी मुख्य बल्लेबाज पवेलियन लौट चुके थे बाय द टाइम इट वाज ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक ऑल द मेन बैट्समैन दे हैड रिटर्न टू द पवेलियन और 326 का बहुत सा टारगेट सामने था and the target of 326 run was there like a mountain in front of them this the little boy is talking about when they went to sleep at 12 o'clock in the night here children ballebaz means batsman mukhya ballebaz mean main batsman along with sachin tendulkar all of them had returned to the pavilion and at that time their score was 146 and there was a target of 326 in front of them pahad sa means like a mountain because it's a huge target that has to be achieved sone se pehle papa ne kaha tha bitte yah khel hai aur vah bhi cricket ka before sleeping papa had told him that it was a sport or a game and that to cricket isme bade bade kamal ho jate hain big big miracles can happen kya pata aaj bhi kamal ho hi jaye maybe who knows today also some miracle might happen ab so jao now you sleep subah uthkar tv par sunna kamal ki khabar so his father somehow gave him a sort of you know positive feeling that they will there will be some miracle so he told him to sleep and to wake up in the morning and listen to the wonderful news khabar means news papa ke kehte hi maine sone ke liye aankhe band kar li thi As soon as his father told him this, he closed his eyes in order to go to sleep. Or सोचने लगा था, and I started thinking कि अगर सचमुच कमाल हो गया, तो वे सब खूब मजे में रहेंगे. And he started imagining that if really the miracle happens, then all the players they'll be having lot of fun. जिन्होंने वह कमाल, and all those people who were watching the match. Here the little boy is talking about those people who were what able to watch the match because their current would not have got cut. So he is thinking, if really the miracle happens and India wins, then all those who were watching the match, they, जिन्होंने वह कमाल अपनी आंखों से देखा होगा, they would really feel so happy to see this winning. Fine children, I hope you understood. तो वे सब खूब मजे में रहेंगे वे रेफर्स टू द पीपल हु वर वाचिंग द मैच एंड फॉर हिम द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाज देयर जिन्होंने वह कमाल अपनी आंखों से देखा होगा दोस पीपल हु माइट हैव सीन दिस वंडर और मिरेकल हैपनिंग विद देयर ओन आईज आई होप आई एम क्लियर चिल्ड्रन इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स डू लेट मी नो इसके बाद मेरे दिमाग में आया था कि इन खिलाड़ियों के भी खूब मजे हैं and then later on in my mind the thought came that even the players is going they are going to you know they really enjoy they really have fun khelte hain koodte hain aur khelne koodne ke inhe paise bhi milte hain now why does the little boy think that they really have a lot of fun these players it's because he says they play they jump around they have fun and for that they get money they get paid for that और जब हम खेलते कूदते हैं तो कभी डांट खानी पड़ती है तो कभी पिटाई एंड वेन वी चिल्ड्रन वी प्ले अराउंड जंप अराउंड तो वी गेट स्कोल्डिंग एंड एट टाइम्स वी गेट बीटिंग डांट खानी पड़ती है मीन्स वी गेट स्कोल्डिंग कभी पिटाई पिटाई मीन्स चिल्ड्रन हियर बीटिंग और कुछ नहीं तो पापा की तरफ से इतना तो जरूर कह दिया जाएगा इफ नॉट एनीथिंग एल्स एटलीस्ट दिस वुड बी सेड बाई पापा That देख लो इस साल हाई स्कूल की पढ़ाई बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है दिस ईयर हाई स्कूल स्टडीज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट महत्वपूर्ण मीन इंपॉर्टेंट दो तीन महीनों की गर्मियों की छुट्टियां होंगी तब जी भर के खेलना कूदना So during the school days, when the little boy plays, his father tells him that high school studies are very important and that in the holidays, during the two to three months of uh, summer holidays, he can, you know. Full heartedly play around. फिर मेरा ध्यान इधर गया कि अगर हमारे खेलने कूदने का इंतजाम स्कूल में ही हो जाए तो कोई समस्या ही ना रहे 
maybe the school day the little boy was studying did not have many extracurricular sports activities so that is why he wonders he thinks that if in the school itself there is you know arrangement of sports a lot of sp sports and curricular extracurricular activities then to, there would be no problem na grah karya mein koi dikkat aaye aur na garmiyon ki chuttiyon ka intezam rahe so if there are a lot of you know physical activities or extracurricular activities in the school nobody would mind doing the homework at home because they are playing enough at school that is what the little boy is thinking children here grah karya means homework Dik, uh, dikkat aaye means no trouble no uh, uh, obstacle aur na garmiyon ki chuttiyon ka intezam rahe and they wouldn't have to wait for the summer holidays to just play around because the basic nature of children if you see they just love to play as much as they can and you know these studies and the homework they just literally bind them from that so here it's all what i think all of you keep imagining at times how i wish studies were not there we could have played around right children khelne kudne ki ko anivarya vishay bana diya jaye so the little boy is thinking they should make it mandatory subject what does he want to be made as mandatory khelna kudna sports swasthya bhi theek rahega what will be the benefit of that that the health will also be okay स्वास्थ्य मीन्स हेल्थ और इसमें पास तो सब हो ही जाएंगे एंड एवरी वन विल पास इन स्पोर्ट्स एक्टिविटीज क्योंकि जो खेल सकते हैं वे खेल कर दिखा देंगे और जो कूद सकते हैं वे कूद कर मेरी तरफ बिकॉज दोज हु कैन प्ले दे विल यू नो शो देर टैलेंट इन प्ले गेम्स एंड दोज हु कैन जम्प दे विल ऑल्सो जम्प जस्ट लाइक मी मुझे तो वैसे भी कई लोग मेरा छोटा कद देख कर कहते रहते हैं कि लटका कर कूदा कर दौड़ा कर सो नो दिस लिटिल बॉय इज वेरी शॉर्ट इन हाइट सो ही सेज अदरवाइज ऑल्सो पीपल कीप लुकिंग एट मी एंड कीप टेलिंग मी दैट प्लीज डू हैंग समेर यू नो हैंग समेर फॉर सम टाइम डू लॉर्ड ऑफ जम्स रन अ लॉट देन यू योर हाइट विल इंक्रीज रिटर्न बाय लवलेश Now, children, I know that all of you might be thinking what this little boy has been thinking one time or the other. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all saw yourself in this little boy. So, stay safe, take care, and see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.